I showed you how to calculate uncertainties with a spreadsheet. Now I'm going to do it with Python. I prefer Python. I just like to write better in Python. I don't like clicking everything. So Python is a great calculator. It's not just for numerical calculations. It can just be a plain calculator. So here I have already started with some values. Um, in Python, I can put all this stuff in one line. So I can say them. I can create a variable m. I can give it this value, and then I can put a comment with the hash with the number sign and then g. So that the computer ignores that part. So I have a mass of 27.56 grams. And, and this is a little bit different, actually one, a little bit different than my previous numbers because I forgot what they were. But I'm trying to find the density of a cylinder. So I have the mass, the uncertainty in the mass. I have the height of the cylinder, 5.3. I have the uncertainty in the height. I have the diameter of 1.5. Okay, so again, let's calculate the volume. So I'm just gonna go ahead and calculate the volume, V equals uh, pi. Pi is built in to Python times h times d over 2 squared. In Python, uh, squared is star star, not hat. Okay. If I want to, just to check things, I could say print v equals v uh, centimeters cubed. And I run it. That's, there you go. Boom. Okay, but I don't want to really, I don't really care about that. Now I want to calculate the V minimum, V min, is going to be equal to pi times H min. So it's going to be H minus DH times the minimum diameter, D minus DD, divided by 2, squared. Now I need to calculate V max. This is going to be the exact same formula except with pluses. I'm just going to copy it. And this is going to be plus. This is going to be plus. Okay. Now I need to calculate the uncertainty in the volume. So dv, uh, case does matter in Python, is v max minus v min divided by 2. There. I could print that if I want. I'm not going to. Okay, let's do it. Print, let's print it real quick. DV. Just see if it makes sure things are working. Okay, it looks like it's working. Okay, now I need to calculate the density. So the density, I'll use Greek letter rho. Rho is m divided by v. I need to calculate the minimum density. So rho min is going to be equal to... Now, look, here's a problem. It's not going to be the minimum mass divided by the minimum volume. It's going to be the minimum mass divided by the maximum volume. Because I'm dividing by a bigger number, it gives me a smaller density. And that's the thing. You want to get the smallest values possible. So I'm going to say m minus dm divided by v plus dv. And rho max is going to be equal to m plus dm divided by v minus dv, oops, dv. And then d rho is going to be rho max minus rho min divided by 2. So now I'm done. So let's do it, let's print it out. Print. Uh, I'll write it as density. Density equals, this is going to be great, uh, rho. You can do this in Python. You can string things together with commas. You can mix strings and numbers, uh, grams per cubic. Let's say plus or minus. D rho. Grams per centimeter cubed. Run it. There you go. And look up here. If I change this to, if I change the height to three, I rerun it done. Isn't that cool? I think it's better than spreadsheet, but you know, kind of biased. So, and it's really nice because you can see the equations really well and you don't have to worry about all the numbers. You're just talking about the equations and the numbers. Python does the numbers. You do the equations. That's what I like about it. Okay. So there you go.